Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to achieve set of automation tasks on Excel files that are stored in OneDrive. It could be OneDrive business or it could be SharePoint uh, without the users having to actually open up each of these files to apply the automation. Now we can achieve this using combination of power automation and office scripts. So let's see how to do this in action. So I have this folder called sales on my OneDrive business and I have uh, multiple Excel files here and they all have the same structure. So let's suppose they, uh, they are uploaded here through some other process. So they somehow come here and on a daily basis, or it could be based on any other trigger, on a frequent basis, I have to go in and apply a set of automation tasks for each of these. Now, if you can imagine um, an individual having to do this manually, it could take a lot of time. So uh, how do you achieve the automation in a way so that uh, one person doesn't have to do this manually? So let's see how to do this using Office Scripts. So I'm gonna open one of these files and they all have the same structure. So let's say the goal, so this has some invoice data in here. So let's suppose um, the goal here is to um, calculate based on maybe the new discount rates that may have been applied and then um, highlight the amount due of one of these rows that have the highest value and then inform a colleague of yours to actually take a uh, look at that, review that. Now, um, to do this, I'm gonna use the Automate tab. Uh, so this is a way through which I can access the, the uh, record actions uh, feature, as well as I can uh, then go and edit that uh, script to perform the automation that I, uh, that I wanna do further. So the end goal for me is to uh, uh, highlight this and add a comment. So I'm gonna start out by recording the actions and I will uh, go apply, let's say, on one of these cells, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna apply yellow color, and then uh, I'm gonna add a, a new comment and inform one of my colleague and say, okay, now please take a look. Please review this. And all right, so that's about it. So I'm happy with what I have right now, so I'm gonna um, stop recording and uh, edit the, the script. So this has given me a baseline script to work with. Now, obviously the uh, the actual cell that I want to highlight and add a comment may be different, so I'm gonna remove that uh, to run this programmatically. All right, so, um, so to begin with, so here's a script that was recorded for me and it's performing the action um, on the, the table and applying the, uh, the formatting and then it's inserting uh, a comment. So to begin with, uh, I'm gonna first ensure that I'll run this only if there are a set of records to, um, to perform the action. So to do that, I'll say uh, table one, uh, get, range between header and total and um, get row count. So this gives me the number of rows in the table. Now I don't wanna perform anything, uh, any action, unless there are at least um, one row to uh, perform this. So I'll say, hey, if row count is uh, equal to zero, simply return it. So that way it's not gonna go further, um, further than this. So that's good. Now, uh, to begin with, I'm gonna apply calculation so I'll say get application. So this is the object where I can perform the calculate function. And it takes an uh, enum of calculation type. So I'm gonna perform full calculation. Uh, so this is just one of the options that Excel offers. So I'm gonna perform full calculation. Now, the reason I have to do that is because this is in a manual mode. Um, and so if I update, update the discount, you'll see that the amount doesn't change. So because of that, I have to do this calculation. Um, and now, uh, as you can see, 
the amount due is in a separate column. So I have to go find find the the amount due that is highest in this uh, in this data rows. To do that, I have to uh, go through one row at a time and focus on just the amount due and then figure out the highest uh, amount. And then for that particular row, for this amount due column, I'll apply the formatting and the, uh, the comment that I showed earlier. Uh, so in the interest of time, I'm gonna just uh, copy paste a set of code that I um, used before. I'm gonna walk you through what each one of these lines do. Uh, first, I'm gonna get the, um, the amount due column. So this is get column by name on the table. Um, and from that column, uh, I'm gonna extract the, the range. So as you can see, there is also a total row. I'm not interested in this. I'm only interested in this. So the amount due values uh, on that range, I'm gonna get the values. So at the end of this line, the amount due values, which is a two-dimensional array, will have uh, one item for each of the, the rows and um, within each one, so each of that itself is a, an array which has just one entry and uh, they contain the values. So to do that, to, to figure out which is the highest row, so I'm gonna assume that the the first row um, in that um, in the, in that data the between the, the header and the, the totals row, the first one has the highest value and then I'm gonna assume that it's you know row zero obviously. So and now my job is to go through each one and then if there's something else that is higher, um, I'm gonna reset the, the, the value on the row to be that. So what I'm gonna do that is um, go through one row at a time, just in a simple loop, and I'm gonna compare um, if the current row value is greater than the value that I've saved up. If so, uh, I'm gonna just save the highest value so that I can compare that for the next iteration. I'm gonna save the, save the row value. So at the end of this loop, um, I have the the row number at which the highest value amount due resides. And now, um, so here I'm gonna change this line here for the formatting. So remember this is coloring the, the cell to be yellow. So instead of zero, which was hard coded, I'm gonna change this to row. So which is what I have from this uh, calculation that I've just done. Now on uh, for the adding the comment, so it is done through workbook add comment API. So the very first parameter that it, it accepts is the, um, the the cell address. Now I can use the the same three lines here, which returns the actual range. And instead of hard coding it, I'm going to dynamically use that. And and I think that's about it. That's all I need. I'm going to run this just to make sure it, um, I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna run this and make sure uh, it's doing what it's supposed to. So as you can see, um, it applied that. So just to confirm, so I'm gonna make maybe, um, I run this again, I'll remove. All right, so it's doing what it's supposed to. I'm happy with this script. My next task is to now go run this across all the other um, you know, files that I have in this folder, right? So once I'm happy with um, a given file, I'll now go use Power Automation to achieve this step. So to Power Automate um, this flow, I will start out with a new um, instant flow and I'm gonna, for, for the time being, I'm gonna say manually trigger this. And th you can choose the trigger to be whatever, like anytime the file appears, it could be time of the day, or some other condition. So I'm gonna create a new um, step. I'll look for OneDrive business. And if it's on a SharePoint, it's identical except that you'll look for a SharePoint uh, action. And um, so my next task is to list files in that folder. Now, um, I have saved all these files in a folder called uh, sales. So I'll, I'll go look for the sales. And uh, and then um, I wanna compare, uh, or rather make sure that I'm running the, the script that I just wrote only in Excel files. So what if there is like a text file or a Word document or something else that might be in the folder. So just to make sure that um, 
I'm not uh, running the script on an in, uh, on a non Excel file. I'm just going to do a condition uh, to make sure that I'll pick the the name um, attribute, and I'll say only if it ends with Excel SX. Um, and if you have a macro, you could also do XLSM or XLSX. You can add a condition that says, you know, if it's, you know, either XLSX or XLSM. So you can do that. You can also run off the scripts on a macro file. Um, so if it satisfies the condition, now I'm going to pick the Excel um, online business. And uh, so this is the key, the run script. No other action within Excel um, um, Excel, Excel workflow can achieve this. So only run script can do this for you. So here, um, and it is a bit redundant, but you still have to pick that, hey, this is OneDrive, um, and this is the, uh, this is the uh, OneDrive document library. For the file though, um, what you can do is, you know, just simply pick the ID. Uh, and in the future, we may also support uh, path for the time being ID is the the one that uh, that you can use and um, So let's see. I think I saved the script as script 46. You could you know, give it a, a name uh, That's more meaningful, but for the time being I'm just gonna pick uh, script 46 from here All right uh, And then simply save it. So if the file doesn't end with XLSX, it's not gonna do anything So that's fine. So I will save this. So, so this has given me um, a workflow that I can now test. So I'll test this manually to make sure that it works correctly. Um, it's going through all the permission checks and now I'm just gonna simply uh, run this. All right, so now it is going through each of the Excel files and applying um, applying the script that I just um, I just wrote. So um, what it's doing is uh, it's opening up each of those files behind the scene. Uh, it's running the the script. The key advantage here is that the users don't have to do this. Uh, so you could uh, have it set up so that uh, you have let's say a series of files that are in manual mode. Uh, you can apply calculation, you can apply formatting, um, and uh, at the end of the flow, you can have it maybe inform you through an, um, an email or it could send a Teams message. So pretty much any workflow that you can use in Power Automation, um, you can use that to inform yourself. For the time being though, I'm just gonna um, make sure that it, uh, it ran successfully. Uh, it's, it looks like there were three files spawned, uh, so for each one, uh, it applied the action. So here, I'm just gonna go refresh each of the files and, and, and show that it is doing what it's supposed to. All right, so you can see that's the highest amount. It's formatted, it's applied the comment. Uh, same thing with the other file, and then the one here as well. So three files, same results, um, one single script, uh, has helped me achieve the automation using a simple set of power automation and office script um, steps. So hopefully this was useful. So if you um, wish to see more such videos, please leave a comment. If you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, and if you have any questions, please uh, uh, do leave a comment. And in the, in the description, I have the source code for the script that I've used. So please do find that link. And uh, hopefully this is, uh, this is gonna help you uh, save a lot of time. Thanks for watching.